is active mode, first of all. And I, I, I love doing a lot of things with like style and just fitness and kind of just all these fun random jokes and things and just kind of like meeting, meeting new people and just kind of building myself up every day. And that's what I want to help you guys with and present to you guys because that's what's helped me when I go towards. I think will help you guys as well. So, uh, again, my name is Zachary Ford, and uh, if you haven't already, make sure you press the subscribe button, like this video, give it a comment, turn on post notifications, so I know you're up to date on this channel. So, since we got that, uh, now that we got that out of the way, so what I want to talk to you guys about today is what happened today at school. So, I was going to school, it was like a normal, normal day, right, and once I arrived, then I want to kind of went up and talk to some people, as, as I don't do as often as normal, I typically just kind of stay kind of by myself, by my backpack and stuff, and I'm not really in, in, in any groups, so that's kind of something I need to work on, and I kind of do that today, so I... I'll give myself a pat on the back. Good job, Zach. Congratulating myself. But anyways, after that, we I I kind of just went on with my classes, and uh, once lunch came, then I ended up talking to some beautiful girls. Honestly, I absolutely loved it, and it made me feel good. So the kind of the point I want to get to you guys tonight is once just taking action uh committing and taking action because that's something that that's like really simple to think about but to actually put it into practice is a lot different than just thinking about something and say you're gonna do it maybe write it down but then not actually do it so just just go do it just go for it go 100 percent. go 120 percent because if you do that, then you could you'll get very far. But if you just hold back, keep doubting yourself, and kind of keep thinking about like overthinking little things that you want to do, like your goals or dreams, or maybe just like approaching someone. Let's just say that for example, uh, and then that moment comes where you have to do it. You kind of have to take your action, right? And then you don't actually do it because you're you're like continuing to doubt yourself or just hold yourself back with your thoughts and that's something that I had trouble with just a little side note I got myself some Oreo ice cream so I mean eating eating a video is great so if you love Oreo ice cream just give this video a like and comment down below just comment down below your top three favorite ice creams Favorite flavors of ice cream is what I want you to put down there if you didn't understand what I meant. This is really good. It'd be really good if some music was playing right now. I think I know what to do. So guys, so back to what I was talking about. I'm a, so. Let's can I so recap right. So, I went into school, I I went through all my classes, lunch came, and then I went, I approached these girls, right? And then, from there, I kind of talked to them, told my name, kind of just did that quality approach, and 
It went pretty well, actually. There's some things that I'm going to share with you that I have done wrong that I kind of want you guys to over... Let me say this. There are things that I want you guys to avoid, right? So, hear me out. <laughs> so many people go through this kind of stuff. They just get caught up in their own thoughts. They get caught up in their in all their setbacks and all these all these things that aren't true about themselves just people in general and that kind of hurts me because it affects 98 percent of the world's population and i don't want to be one of those few and i will not be one of those few and i want you guys to do the same i want you guys to Go out, uh, commit to your goals your, and your dreams, and take action. Just, just go for it. Uh, at first, it's gonna, it's probably gonna suck so much because you're, you might be afraid, you might be kind of unsure. But once you actually go, f go for it, go for your dreams, then, then you really start to see little changes, little progress, and that's something that really helps me so some things that I didn't do well in on this approach today was that I didn't like continue the conversation after probably like three or four minutes and what I could have done was ask more like intriguing questions and just more questions in general so that's something that that's something that I need to work on and there's probably several of you that kind of have that same problem as well. So just have your questions in the back of your mind and then just kind of listen in to what the other person has to say and just kind of like focus on what the other person is talking about and not like solely focusing on yourself. So, yeah. Take another bite of ice cream here. So another thing that I had some trouble with that I got to me was some of the actions that I took. For example, all right, guys, I'm back. So the thing that I had trouble with doing was. in the back of my head what's going on <laughs> uh, here I'll, I'll take another bite and then I'll think about it hello I actually just finished my entire bowl of ice cream while I was off So, let me just get back to what I was saying, because I, because I was, I haven't been saying it yet, so, the thing that I have been having trouble with doing was making the next approach, kind of making the plan to approach them next, to kind of talk to them again, uh, it just, like, cut to set up that hangout time, uh, and that get together, and what I one of the things that would be helpful for me to do next time is to kind of just kind of get it, first of all, get them interested in me and my time. Because if I don't, then they won't want to, they probably won't want to be with me. They probably won't want to hang out with me another time. So that's the first thing. Uh, second thing is make the plan to hang out with them later. Whether that's by just making a plan on the calendar, just kind of setting up a little time like that, like maybe getting their phone number or something like that, basically, just to kind of get them to be with you later, to talk to you later. 
so that's the second thing. Uh, third thing, or another thing that I was gonna say, was to on the second approach, on the second time you see them, it was to kind of just inform them of who who you were again. Maybe just kind of bring up some older talks that you had, like on the last time. Just acknowledge those what you guys talked about, and then just get her kind of interested again. Get her. Get her moving, get her laughing, get her, get, get, no, just like people in general, um, you want to get them interested in you, in what you're saying, and how you're presenting yourself, and just how you're acting, and that's also something I need to work on, I need to work on everything that I'm talking about right now, even the things that I'm doing well at, while of course the things that I'm not doing so well at are my main priorities right now. That's good. Watch the slight change. <laughs>